Hey guys, welcome back. So many of you like to install Windows 7 off of a USB drive. It's a lot faster than via CD-ROM drive. The problem is, if you use a 100 series motherboard from Gigabyte, you might get this Windows 7 error. Now the reason for this error is because Windows 7 comes with an old driver called EHCI. Thankfully, we've created an app that allows you to package a new driver called XHCI with a copy of Windows 7, allowing you to boot easily. So for this, you need a few things. First of all, is a computer with Windows 7 or up, a disk drive, a USB drive that has over 4 gigs of space, and a genuine copy of Windows 7. So once you download the app, you'll see a folder called Windows Install Tool. Open it up. Click this right here. You don't have to install it at all. It can open it right now. And you'll see a few options. The first option, uh, you can pick whether you just want to add the USB drivers. Use that if you already have Windows 7 on USB drive. Or you can pick this option here, and that will copy the Windows 7 image from your disk drive, the D drive, to your USB drive. So click that there. Uh, make sure you have this clicked. Uh, this will make sure that these drivers are installed on the image. So once that's ready, uh, click Start, and it will format the USB drive and copy the Windows 7 image to your USB drive. Uh, this will take some time, so just sit back and relax. So now we have a USB drive with Windows 7 on it and the proper XHCI drivers. As I'll show you, you can boot with this on our new boards. So, we'll plug it in first. And turn on the system. And we will boot into Windows 7 and it'll work just fine. You can see now Windows is loading. It's going to load some files and we'll start with the setup. So with the USB, because of the faster transfer speeds, it'll take about half as long as trying to install via DVD. So now we're in the uh, setup program. We can click through a few options and we'll be on our way. So we'll click next, install now, and we are on our way. Accept, custom, we'll click uh, the disk right there, we'll hit next, and we are installing. Okay guys, you can see the install is complete and Windows 7 is good to go. So hopefully we've answered your questions about why you were having trouble with Windows 7 being installed via USB. Uh, we hope it's all cleared up and for more videos, be sure to check out our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.